to May and your career and money reading. This is for your rising sign. This video right here will tell you why you should watch this for your rising sign and not your sun sign. If you don't give a shit, go ahead and watch it, whatever, but it's going to be more accurate for your rising sign. Um, we're going to cover what do career and money look like for you in general this month? What should you be looking forward to? What's going to be your biggest annoyance? Where to look more closely and then general advice and guidance for you. Um, the decks I'm using are this one here, the Psychic Tarot Oracle, which is actually a tarot deck and not an oracle deck, and then the um, Number Guidance deck. Okay, let's get started. Oh, there's links in the description box below um, that are affiliate links for each of these decks. If you like the deck and you want one for yourself, because that's a common question I get in the comments, um, it doesn't cost you more to get them through that link. It just helps me keep making these videos. Okay, let's get started. Libra, your career and your money themes are like, okay, in career, there's a little fear there and there's also not new opportunities and new beginnings. So you might be feeling a little bit fucked up in your sacral chakra and in your root chakra. You might be feeling unsafe, like things um, are not predictable and they're not reliable and they're not really comfortable. And that's gonna make it hard for you in relationships and like your spirituality and all these other things. So we have to get that right. So I'm just gonna um, change course here for a second and it's like, what do you do to fix this? And they're like, think about what it is that you want, number one. Um, because if we don't know what we want in regards to our career, how can it ever grow and expand and how can we ever have fulfillment and joy? Like if we don't have something to hope for, then we're going to feel hopeless. So what do you want to have happen? Maybe you know what you're afraid of happening. Maybe you know what you don't want. Okay, so look at the flip side of it. This um, There's a freebie on my website. You can look for it in the description box below, a little link for it. But this will help you to identify exactly what it is that you want and um, therefore how to start manifesting it into your life. Uh, you don't have to put in like an email so I can spam you or something. You just go to the website, you grab it, and then you use it for your benefit, okay? I recommend that you do that. In regards to your career, it's um, like certain things are ending, okay? So you're gonna know what I'm talking about when I say that. Your intuition should tell you. If it didn't, maybe it doesn't apply to you. But you know that might be like, okay, I'm finally paying something off. Or, hey, now because of you know the the new um, coronavirus package, student loans are gonna stop nagging me all of the time, at least through <laughs> through this. December or whatever. I think that's what it was. September or December, something like that. But it, that's not the point. The thing is, is like it's ending, it's done right now, okay? And so then how am I going to use the completion of something to my advantage as far as my money goes? So what do you have to look forward to in regards to your career? And um, what do you have to look forward to in regards to your money? So in regards to career, they're like your fear, that sacral chakra that's a little bit jacked up, We've got to clear that. I would maybe look up on YouTube a sacral chakra meditation because you got to heal this. Um, the thing is, is that things are actually going to be okay if you're able to do that. But your intuition is blocked and it's stagnant and you're creating resistance in your life where you don't need to. Like blessings are trying to come to you and you're just like actively pushing them away. So get that shit fixed. Um, there's going to be a lot of options and therefore a lot of confusion. And so whatever your heart is telling you is right because your intuition clearly isn't working this month in regards to your career, whatever brings you the most joy is what you should choose in the meantime. They're saying in regards to career, there might not be a lot of new opportunities for you um, that that are going to affect you monetarily, you know, like, so maybe there's a new career opportunity for you, but it's a lateral move and you don't make a lot more prosperity, like a, a lot more abundance, um, a lot more money. Um, so, I mean, this isn't the best month for that, but I feel like if you're able to clear away these blockages, then maybe that starts to move and shift in June, July, August. In regards to your money, they're saying you're not super confident in yourself and your own efforts and your ability to create more money in your life. And so they're saying like your heart chakra is a little bit blocked. You've got to kind of open that up a little bit, give a lot of love, tip a little extra, even though you might be afraid to do so, because that's going to all come back to you six to 10 times as much as you give it out. And so I highly recommend that you look at this um, 
blog post that I have that is like abundance hacks to help you um, fix this energy that you have going on so that not only do you get to keep more money, but you get to get more money. Okay, so um, what's the biggest sort of thing that's going to be annoying you? Well, that your intuition isn't working right, honestly. You know, maybe you used to get a lot of signs, you used to pick up on a lot of things, you were able to trust your gut, and it's like now it's crickets. But that's what tarot readers and things are for, right? <laughs> I'm here to help you. Um, in regards to money, uh, you might be overflowing with joy and love and happiness because of the kind deeds of somebody else. Or maybe you make a new love connection or maybe somebody that you love from your past or that used to love you or you still love each other or something like that hooks you up with some funds. Um, be open to that. But like I said, if you've got that heart chakra blocked, I don't think it's coming for you. So let's try to get our energy straight. Let's get our energy right, okay? Um, I would do like a full body healing, cleansing, clearing if I were you. Um, so general guidance and advice and um, where to look more closely. Where to look more closely, they're saying, what is true here? What is the balance of both sides, okay? Um, you, because oftentimes there's some your perception, somebody else's perception, somebody else's perception, and then the truth is somewhere in between, right? Like we all distort reality a little bit based on our own history and experiences and our fears and our belief systems. And so they're like, what is the actual nuts and bolts truth of situations happening at work? And then in regards to our money, how can I change things um, to make them more stable for myself? How can I use the spirit world in order to fix the energy flow of money in my life? Um, very, very important to explore. So the guidance and advice is basically kind of what I mentioned in that um, blog post I recommended, that if you can start to love career and start to love money types of things, even though not everything is perfect, but just pouring a lot of gratitude and attention onto the things that are going right that aren't really fucked up right now, um, you're really opening up that heart chakra for a better flow of getting what you want. They're saying you might have some conflict this month, but if you're able to step outside of it and see it very objectively without your feelings involved, um, there's a lot of wisdom and insight that can be gained there so that you make the right choices so that June, July, August are much smoother sailing. Love you so much.